I think Allods Online is one of the coolest MMOs ever made. It's an extremely solid, if somewhat generic, theme park MMO. But even though the way many call it a World of Warcraft clone is somewhat warranted, Allods is remarkably cool. It's fully fledged and feature rich, filled with just about anything and everything that you could want from a theme park game. Even some of the things you don't want, like a notice board tab dedicated to in-game weddings. But the real reason I love this game is its design. It features a unique and engaging steampunk fantasy world, which is a hodgepodge of so many different inspirations. It's got orcs and elves and a World War II vibe and naval spaceships and magic and swords and guns and whatever else they wanted to throw in. And I think it really works. I love this quest where I had to locate a lost roll of propaganda film. It's so wacky. But not in a super, everything is wacky way like Wildstar. It's wacky and grounded? Does that make any sense at all? Either way, this is one of my favourite original MMO universes. The cartoonish art style is beautiful, allows for a very small client size, and means the game will run on pretty much anything. It's also got a brilliant sense of scale, which is so important for MMO worlds. There are stunning vistas and magnificent structures to enjoy in the world. The music is fantastic, grand, delicate, and sometimes way too catchy. The classes are widely varied, allowing for a very diverse range of player characters. I adore bard classes in games, and it's no surprise that this class, which wields like a mandolin to defeat its enemies with the power of music, tickles me tremendously. And as trite as much of the game might seem compared to the likes of World of Warcraft, it doesn't lack for ambition. Uh, guild teams can take command of ships and fly through the astral, engaging in ship-to-ship -ship PvP. This is more of an endgame thing, and unfortunately I've never tried it for myself, but it sounds excellent in theory. Unfortunately, despite all this, the story of Allods Online is more tragedy than victory. Sure, it's been successful enough to release half a dozen expansions, but it's never really taken off in English markets. It was developed in Russia and released as free-to-play in English with US servers back in 2009 through G-Potato. Free-to-play was a much less proven concept back then, and there was the feeling from some publishers that it was a no-brainer, an easy way to make tons of revenue. It couldn't go wrong. Anticipation was fairly high, but the game was quickly criticised for its pay-to-win cash shop items, which made it pretty clearly unfair. G-Potato didn't fix this, so most players left as quickly as they joined. Allods was one of the earliest and most notorious in a long succession of games that were ported to the West with a free-to-play model and subsequently panned for being pay to win. Back at this time is when I played the game the most and enjoyed it a lot, but none of the player base was sticking around, so the fun only lasted a couple of months. In the roughly seven years since then, the game's English publishing has moved from gpotato to my.com, who currently host two servers, one free to play and one for subscribers, which is a pretty cool concept. Unfortunately, these servers are in Europe, so the ping is pretty bad, unless you're in that part of the world, and the player base is now pretty small. Just over a week ago the game was updated with the 7.0 expansion though, so it's still kicking a little. Allods Online's best days are certainly behind us though. Even though I think the game is still worth trying out if you're interested, it is fairly old now and feels pretty dated. From what I can tell, it's unlikely that there'll be much major new content for the game in the future. Most of the developers are probably busy with their new game, Skyforge, which came out last year, and surprisingly, I haven't tried it yet. But being a big fan of a lot of what they did with Allods Online, I'm looking forward to it. So, even though I doubt I'll play Allods Online again in the future, mostly due to their only being European servers, I'm really glad to have experienced some of its awesome steampunk world and mythology. It's a pity it was never competently published in America, but even if the game won't last, the delightful soundtrack is definitely something I'll continue to listen to in the future. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried Allods Online, either at launch or more recently? Do you agree with my assessment that it had potential to be much more than it was? 
Either way, cheers for watching, have an interesting day. Thoramus out.